Medicaid self-directing care or attending care. Look, you in the Medicaid long-term health care program, now they ask you the big question, where do you want to be with it? Attending care, self-directed care. If this is a question that you wanted to ask somebody, you know what I mean, you've been reaching for this answer, stick around to the end and I'm telling you I'll, I'll answer all your questions for you, all right? How y'all doing today? My name is Kion Church. I am the Delaware District Administrator of Reliable Aid, Inc. What I do is I help financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid Long-Term Health Care Program, or what's more commonly known as LTSS, you know, and we only do that because we believe that if you are taking care of a family member, you shouldn't have to go hungry, you know? Why should you be broke because you're trying to take care of somebody else? That's crazy, you know what I mean? Listen, this show right here, this is what we concentrate on. This is all I'm talking about, you know what I mean? Also. You know, if you need some agency help, if you just start now, you need help credentialing or with this good EVV stuff we got going on, let me know. All right. So, look, let's talk about it. Self-directed care or attending care? Well, first, we got to see what kind of person are you? Because, you know, everybody not built the same way. You know what I mean? Some people can lift heavy bricks, boulders, put them on their shoulder. You know what I mean? Walk 10 miles. Everybody ain't built like that. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to give you what the difference is. All right. Self-directed care is where uh, you being the Medicaid member, the actual person who's in the LTSS program, the actual person who needs the help, that's where you are the boss. You know, now a lot of people call me and they say, hey, KC, they told me I was the boss and I, I run this and this and that. And I'm like, yeah, you do. They say, well, well how do I find a caregiver? It? Listen, you the boss. You got to do everything. You know what I mean? Now. Everything is really everything, so I don't really know if you understand. But what what I'm telling, hey, they texting me too. How y'all doing today? But what I'm telling you is, if you're the kind of person, if you need a little more help, and you can do everything, because I know you say, well, what's everything, Casey? Everything is everything. So I'm gonna just give you a flip side of that. What we do is attending care. Uh, if you find a good company like Reliable Aid, Inc., what we gonna do for you is called attending care. Now, what that is is we find you a caregiver. You know now. Reliable Aid, we specialize in turning the family caregiver into the person that's actually going to get a paycheck. You know what I mean? You might got a nephew, brother, sister, cousin, so-and-so that's taking care of you now, you getting no paycheck. That's what we specialize in, getting them a paycheck. But at the same time, we do a lot of stuff. You know, we do a lot of stuff. And, and what do we do? We do everything. You know what I mean? Because I know I already told you, you're going to have to do everything if you're doing self-directed care. But if you get a good company like Reliable Aid, we can do everything you know what I mean? Everything you need under attending care. Now, look, before I go any further, if you're here in the live, hashtag live. If you're here in the rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. Everybody on YouTube, you know I especially love y'all. You know what I mean? Y'all always comment and let me know where you at, if you're a big-hearted caregiver or not. So many people will just chime in and tell me about how their experiences are. They're talking about their family and all the good things that we were able to help them with. Look, even if you're not in Delaware, you got a Medicaid question. It's 50 United States, you know what I mean? All the continental United States, Medicaid work the same, man. If you need me, reach out to me. 302-689-3240. If you, if you got a question or a comment, you feel like I'm on the air and you're scared to get on with me, 302-689-3240. All you got to do is text me a question. I'll let you know. All right. So a lot of people probably thinking, what is everything, KC? Because I, I, I need somebody to do everything for me. Like, you know, like my dad, you know, I just helped him out the chair. I just got into the bathroom, you know what I mean? Got his toothbrush, washcloth, all that kind of stuff together for him. You know, I'm cooking him something to eat for, for, for breakfast. You know, like, it's a lot of things going on. You may need a lot of help, you know. And on top of that, before you even get to that kind of help, you're going to have to find you a good caregiver, first of all. You want a good, reliable caregiver, all right? Now, that caregiver, just because this is a state job, that caregiver is going to need a lot of stuff. Number one, they're going to need to be two-part TB tested. Now, TB stands for tuberculosis. I don't know nobody that ever had it. I seen some people in a movie back in the day when I was a kid, they had it. But all I know is the state don't want you to have it. So they got to get everybody tested that's coming into your house. All right. So what I do is I set the people up. I say, hey, man, you're going over to Miss Johnson's house today. But before you go there, before you start, we need you to get a TB test. I sent them on over to the uh, to the Med Express. They put this little thing underneath their arm. They come back and then they read it a week later and then they do it again. And then they come back a week later and they read it. And if it's nothing funny, no funny business going on, the people are safe, then I send them to the household. All right? Also, what else they got to do? They got to have a physical. See, 
A lot of people don't understand, you know what I mean? There's a lot of things going on, you know, people need help transferring, uh, ambulating, doing a lot of things where they need help. So, you want to have a person that's there with you that's in good physical condition. <laughs> Ain't no use you falling down or hurting yourself with somebody that can't even take care of their self. You know what I'm saying? So, what I do as an attendant care company, we make sure that the person has a two-part TB shot, you know what I mean? Two parts, come get the first shot. Next week, come back, get that red, get the second shot. On top of that, get the physical, why they there. The state also suggests that they get drug screen. Actually, they don't suggest, it's mandatory. So, I don't know if you maybe got drug tests in your pocket. You know, we got some at the office. You know what I mean? We here, we reliably, so we, we test on the spot. You know what I mean? Something go wrong, we got to test, so we, we keep tests. It's nothing for me to have a person drug screen that I'm sending to your house. You know what I mean? We make sure everything is clean. Everything, all right? Look, after that, the major hit, the major, major, major part, you know what I mean? You're still going to need a little help with this, you know what I mean? Even if you are uh, self-directed care. Every attendant or direct care worker that works for a company, you know, we're not talking to Craigslist caregiver. You know, we're not talking that because we ain't dealing with that. We ain't into that. We talking about attendant care, self-directed care. Every direct care worker who does attendant or self-directed care has to have a SBI background check. Now, what SBI stands for is State Bureau of Investigations. Like, these them dudes. If you got a record, you can't hold it from these people. You feel me? If you ever did anything with, with a, a adult abuse, child abuse, I don't know, you, you they got all kind of abuse registries. Now, you know, it's crazy, you know I mean? I, you don't know who you with in this world. You know what I mean? You never know the other person unless you really know. Them. So how you gonna get to find out? I mean, what's your what's your what's your what's your process? I really think that it's like uh, self destruction for them to even make you the boss and do self directed care because now you got a lot of stuff to do. You know what I mean? I thought you needed the help. <laughs> if you need help, why would you allow them to force this on you? This ain't nothing but another BS move by these BS uh, uh, case. People, y'all know who I'm talking about because y'all got some bad ones in your life. So, hey, you got to tell the case manager, say, look, we want reliable aid. I need attending care. I ain't got time to be doing all this. I ain't got time to get people drug tested and physically screened and TB tested and background check. I ain't got time for all that. All I need is some good care. Now, listen, you want to get best care in the business. So come to a company like reliable aid. We do attending care. When they try to talk you into self-directed care, Tell them, say, look, we're not going with that crap. You know what I'm saying? And it's actually like a couple companies that the state really likes a lot. So they be pressuring people to go to those companies. And those, those are the BS companies. Those are the ones that take a long time to sign your, sign your loved ones up. They're the ones that don't want to get you a, a paycheck, your loved one a paycheck. Listen, my first, my very first client, I'm going to tell you all a secret. My very first client before we had reliably all the way established, I had a guy, Mr. Barry Brown, my boy. Rest in peace, Barry. Look, Barry, uh, I told Barry, I said, look, man, you qualify for a paid caregiver under the Medicaid long-term health care program if you get in. He said, really? I said, yes, get in. So I got him into the program, you know what I mean, walking through it, talked with his case manager, got him signed up. Now, mind you, it was no reliable aid at the time, you know? So what I did is I got him signed up, and I, and I got him signed up with the... Uh, with the holiday animal company. You know, it's a two word holiday and an animal. You know, they suck, they trash. I, I hope they hear me. So anyway, put me I put the I put my I put my client on to their service and then they tried to talk him out of using me. <laughs> I'm like, yo, y'all crazy. I brought you a customer and now y'all don't want him to use me. Y'all want to use your own customer. And then they didn't even have they didn't they didn't even have a caregiver that they wanted to set him up with immediately. They wanted to let him wait. Okay, you signed up now. We just gonna wait. Nah, this man needs help. See, this is what I'm talking about. This self directed care and these BS bobo companies, man. They they going they going. It's just like a banana in the tailpipe, man. All they gonna do is slow you down. You know what I mean? You need some real help. You need to call a, a real agency who's gonna put your needs first and make sure you got what you need. You know what I mean? 302-689-3240, 302-689-3240. Listen, if you out there and you need some agency help, you 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 are you a self starter, you the owner, you know, we help people like you too. You know, we 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 cater to the Medicaid members, but guess what? 
we cater to everybody because in-home health care is the truth. You know what I mean? And we love it, man. I told people today it's not even work when I'm helping people because I get to help people all the time. Let me help you. 302-689-3240. And look, I'm not saying I'm the only one that can help you, but you need a boss to help you. You know what I'm saying? You playing around right now. You keep making phone calls. They spinning you. You, you. you ain't got nobody good to talk to. Here I am. You know what I mean? Take advantage of this opportunity. Call me. 302-689-3240. Look, don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of people is bad business. We doing this to get our blessings. All right? Also, if you're a caregiver, you out there, you're working hard, you need extra help, extra money to put in your pocket. Uh, we got a program that we're working on right now. Help you build some residual income. Help you build a full-time income while you're working part-time passively. You know, that sounds like a good thing to me. You know, I, I had to move back home to help two other people. Well, that's like me taking care of three people. Me and two other people. That's hard work. How you going to go into the street and get a job? <laughs> it's going to be hard, man. Got to do something else. Got to do something passively. If you need a solution to your income, call me, man. 302-689-3240. Don't be afraid to text me. Reach out. If you're a caregiver, you need help, you need extra money while you're trying to figure it out, let me know. Also, uh, got a lot of good things coming on. Make sure you share this program. Make sure you you putting other people's names and, and info into the comment. Make sure you hit me in a DM. Do what you got to do. Let's spread this message. Let's get the word out. All right. Self-directed care, attendant care. You can tell everybody all about it now because you know everything. You feel me? All right. So I got to go. Talk to you tomorrow. Peace.